and welcome to the premiere of BBC Christ with your regular host, it's Ken Ham. Today on Christ TV we'll be going through Leviticus and displaying how gambling is wrong and showing how we should only eat certain types of God's chosen foods. We need to obey the Lord in his every command, use the literal interpretation of the Bible and nothing else. Let's just get this for King James. So, Book 1, Chapter 3, The Gold of Man. The Gold of Man, the lowest common denominator of all his activities, the dynamic principle of his existence, has long been sought. Mr. Ham, that doesn't really sound like the Bible. I am a firm Christian, read the book! I mean, that sounds like Scientology to me. Are you not a Christian or something? <laughs> You're a disgrace to everything you believe. Get up, no, get out, you don't belong here, no. I believe. Get out, Australia. BBC Christ is finished. No, I don't want to see your face ever again. Oh, oh, get out! I wasn't expecting you to, to be here so so early. Well, Scientology calls us all soon. I, yes, sir. This hand dealt with. Yes, sir. The channel is ours now. Good. My plan is falling into place. Soon, Zenu will return to Earth, and we will be raised into enlightenment. All hail Zenu! Not many of us speak to each other on the morning. BBC Christ is no longer available for viewing. It has been replaced by BBC Dianetics, the only Scientology channel which will induct you into the world of Xenu. And now we go to our glorious leader. Greetings. I will now read an extract from the goal of man. The goal of man, the lowest common denominator of all his activities. The dynamic principle of his existence has long been sought. Should such an answer be discovered, it is inevitable that from it many answers would flow. It would explain all phenomena of behavior. It would lead toward a solution of man's major problems. And most of all, it would be workable. Mr. Ham. No. There's so much to live for. The church can no longer have you ruining anything for us, Mr. Ham. You think your Bible's going to save you this time, Mr. Ham? It has every time. Well, this is the end. God's infallible. He will work his miracles. Christianity always wins. Should have been a Christian. My faith has been restored. Fake. Poor. Medieval. Quality lies in faith.
Today is the end of organized religion. Today is the end of this false god you know it can have. Today, Scientology takes over, takes the stage. In a new world, a world where God, Mother, God, a world where we are free from oppression and from slavery. A world where our minds are free to do as they please, where our spirits are released. And a world where the glorious leader Zeno is watching over us eternally. All remaining nations will bow to Zeno. And then we shall know. I shall have to finish him myself. The time has come for the Christians to rise out of their homes again. No. The time has come for a new age, Ken. An age without you. An age of falsehood. Death. And lies. That's the age we've been living in for a thousand years, Ken. No, we have not. We have lived under the Lord. And so, we should live under a new Lord. Zeno. Hail Zeno. No. He's a representative of the Christian faith. It's Ken Ham. Oh, and today, children, we'll be reading the Bible. Six days of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Darkness covered the ocean, and God's spirit was moving over the water. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, so he divided the light from the dark. Then God said, let the earth be filled with animals, each producing more of its own kind. And this is amazing that this happened in six little days. 6,000 years ago. 